guys welcome back to my channel it's me Nika I know that I'm three weeks late for a video and I'm so 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 sorry and I'm gonna get better and I promise but today I have a prize for you a surprise we're gonna be doing some very vibrant beautiful colors with this custom mixed salmon I custom mixed it for you guys before it's a few videos back I will link it in the description box below but I am going to be doing another enclosed piece like a little mirror mirror type action Action, you know like into another realm type action okay so without further ado let's go ahead and jump in but let's enjoy the intro first Right, we are jumping right in like I told you guys we're gonna be doing like a medieval mirror type thing so I'm going to be taking my pre-mixed paint that is in a condiment bottle and I'm just outlining or kind of sketching where I want this color to be I don't want my paint to go past this so that is why I'm using this condiment bottle to help guide me to where I want to put this color. This is a custom mixed color. I used Liquitex paints here. All of the paint shades and brands will be in the description box below. Okay, so I get a lot of questions about my consistency. My consistency is not based upon a preset ratio. Um, this is something that you can learn about in my course. I have a two session fluid out course and I have the course link in my description box below as well if you wanna learn about consistencies and getting the perfect mix. Whenever I blow out my paint and I see that there are some holes or some areas where there are gaps where the paint has not blown out completely, instead of pouring more paint, I just squeeze it out of the condiment bottle. This just really helps me to control how much paint is going on the canvas because if there's too much paint on your canvas, you will have a lot of shifting while it dries and that is not what we want. Now I want you guys to notice how careful I'm being. I'm being very careful to not have um, this salmon color everywhere else because I do want a very controlled pour. I want these colors to stay where I want them to stay so I'm being extremely careful with how I'm laying them and how I'm blowing them out because if I just rush through it's not going to come out how I want it to come out.
so now I'm just going to lay my accent colors down I'm going to lay those down before I lay down my white that's going to be in the middle this is Prussian blue This is teal. I'm laying my paint shades darkest to lightest. So I went in with my darkest contrast color and, and then I'm gonna go up from there. This is light blue permanent. And I'm also going to put down gold and copper. I just love 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 how they mix together when the gold and the copper mix once they blow out oh this is magenta I'm sorry I forgot I was adding that but also gold and copper but I love to mix gold and copper together because when they dry I cannot explain it but it looks like fire now I'm going to go ahead and add my white and I'm going to be very careful with how I'm adding that as well everything for this particular pour has to be just exact if it wants if I want it to turn out how I have it in my head <laughs> I'm a perfectionist you guys I'm sorry
right so now we're at the fun part now because I want this to look as close as twins as possible I'm going to blow these sections one by one normally I would blow one canvas at a time but I'm going to blow this canvas in certain areas together so I'm gonna blow this area at the same time because I do want them to look very similar see not twins but they can be sisters I'm gonna do the same thing across the whole thing yeah, I don't think I ever told you these are two 10 by 20s so together they'll be a 20 by 20 oh my gosh you guys look at that magenta how it's mixing with the with the blues it is so beautiful and in certain areas, you're gonna see that beautiful Prussian blue peek through just a little bit, not too much. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty! So I'm really loving how it turned out. It's super duper pretty. Exactly what I wanted it to be. Look at that composition, you guys. I got some nice, cute, natural cells. I love it. I hope you guys love it. Thank you so much for joining, and I will see you next time. Mwah.